Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Word Up, the class all about poetry, spoken word, and short stories. My name is Kimberly Wright. I know I started class a little bit late today. It's because uh, I was just, I hope that you tuned in to watch the proclamation for today, Fulton County's proclamation. That's one of the events that is listed on the uh, Old Americans Month schedule. So there were a lot of uh, positive things, really good things that were uh, highlighted on there. And we also had a, one of our participants from the Harriet G. Darnell Center speaking there. Um, so without further ado, we spoke about last week, uh, uh, we finished off our lesson of the Sin Canes. However, I did say that if you all want to recite any pieces today that's exactly what we would do we would have a short class and um some people were not in class last week and if you need me to go over what we discussed about the shape poems we uh the lesson for this week but i'm going to give you another week because i even need uh, some more time myself due to the fact that i'm um getting a lot of things together for our upcoming older Americans events like tomorrow don't forget the coloring book event is tomorrow at 10 a.m. Jamal Jones's coloring book event and Friday we have the um, tea and chapeau Mother's Day tea with Miss Maletta Buffy Clayton at 10 a.m. on Friday and then next week we have uh, on Wednesday at 1 p.m. the uh, Kimberly's Corner Sip and Paint. So, there's anybody out there that wants to share any poetry or if you just want the lesson on the shape poems, we did concrete or shape poems. I will go ahead and play that. Mr. Runner, you have anything you want to share today? Have to unmute yourself. Uh, yeah, I do. Um, Good job. Sin Cain, is that how we pronounce it? Sin Cain poem? Cain, like you like a, like a candy cane, or you walking with a cane. It's Sin Cain. Okay, I have one Sin Cain poem. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Sciatica, sciatica, pain, torture, aching, stabbing, crippling, hurts like a toothache, nerve. The last word was nerve? Yes. Okay. That was perfect. <laughs> I like that. Well, I don't like it because I'm experiencing it. <laughs> so, uh, I do understand because sometimes I get that sciatica uh, pain, especially like when you're sitting from driving a long time, or whew, it's the worst. But did yeah. you know that you did you know uh, exercise that you can do to combat that? I've been uh, look, looking at some exercises online. And I, I've come across some, it's, it's a lot less severe than it was in weeks past, but it's not perfect yet. So uh, I, I'm open to suggestions. Okay, I just want to give you one exercise right quick. So if you can see me, if you, sometimes people are not able to hold their balance, but if you can't hold your balance, you can kind of like lean against the wall but you mainly want to kind of stand with your legs open and then just cross your leg. You might already know about this. And just, you know, like you want to do a bend with your legs crossed and relax and breathe. And like whichever leg, if the leg is over on top, then that means you stretching the, the leg that's in the back. So then it would be for the other side, the leg that's in the back. It's not easy, but it really, really helps. Uh, no, no, I did not know about that exercise. I'll give it a try. Thanks a lot. No problem. So just cross your leg and 
Raise your arms up and relax. You have to relax and breathe. Okay. All right. You still have, you have anything else you want to share as it pertains to the piece? I wrote a couple of haikus, but I have to find them. No problem. Take your time. So just let me know if you find them, if you're ready. Hi, Miss G. You have to unmute yourself, lovely. I have some sink case. Read them? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and this is for everybody, okay? Health, value it, don't take lightly. Illness can last for years. Thrive. <laughs> That's a good word. You like that word, thrive. <laughs> Here's one on happiness. Happiness, your choice. Reject the gloom. Smiles ignite years of joy. Hallelujah. <laughs> I like the ending on that one, especially. Uh, oh, okay, good. <laughs> and uh, one, I, was, I, had, I think I have one more. Whoop, 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 whoop. Miss Jean, once you read, wrote that, uh, you know, like, uh, it's rumored, but we are supposed to be returning to the facility at some point soon. Oh. And um, I'm going to continue this word up class at the facility, however, I was just thinking from that poem, it would be a good idea for us to compile a small book and put it together of our pieces in class. And I mean, me personally, I would be willing to buy like your book, Miss Jean, or yours, Mr. Ronnie, you know, different people. I would be glad to purchase it. So I don't know if we could probably sell the pieces at the facility to other seniors, but I will definitely uh, look into that. And if not, Ooh, yeah. I bet, I bet we could. Yeah, and I already have a printer, so Ooh. get our piece, like we could get our pieces printed. So anyway, sorry for interrupting you. Go ahead, lovely. Well, that's great, that's great. Okay, here's one on time. Time, a concept, minutes and hours. Measuring our final destination, completion. Thank you. Great job. Now, I love these because they, they make you say, they make you search for a word to be as exact as you can in as few words as you can. I love that. And they really tell a thorough picture and they really uh makes you think yeah it's really really fun well you, well you know what i told my daughter kim is putting us through mental gymnastics <laughs> <laughs> well you gotta keep yourself young so that's right what you don't use you lose <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes ma'am that's good so anybody have a chance to watch the proclamation out there today did anybody know we was even having a proclamation today I did because one of the drama people wrote the prop. She wrote the thank you. Yeah, that's I was just that's that's why um it took a little long. So that was the last proclamation that they made for Old Americans Month. And we had that young lady from the drama class. I cannot say her name now, but she had on the Harriet G. Darnell facility shirt. She gave the thank you. It was really, really nice. Good. And um it was really good to see uh Commissioner Hall, you know, she's in our district, and uh, Dr. Rochelle. Yeah. All right. So, um, once again, I hope you, you all still have time to color those pages for the coloring book event tomorrow. And if you want to uh, be involved in the Mother's Day tea and hat party on Friday, feel free. And I do want to say right now and early happy 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 mother's day to all you young ladies out there i love you so much i love mothers and fathers you know you know what kim i you know what i said is there a difference between mother's day and mama day
Kim. Whoops. Hold on, Miss Jean. One second. Yes, yeah, sorry. That was Miss Sparkman. She said she didn't know I was having class. <laughs> she was talking about something about proclamation, but she told me she told me to tell y'all sorry. She uh got off. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Go ahead. I I was just saying it's difference between Mother's Day and Mama's Day. <laughs> oh, okay. Tell me the difference. I said, tell me the difference. Oh, 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 oh. Anybody can be a mother, but not anybody can be a mama. <laughs> <laughs> so the mama is the one who been okay. nurture. She's a nurture. She's like big mama. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good job. Well, that's true. I don't. I call my my mother mama. <laughs> mama, uh huh. And some people call my dear. <laughs> mom, mom, mom. A lot, of, a lot of names. That's really cool. So. Uh, I had a put my Miss Jean on time last week, but you missed mine. You had what? A poem on time. Can I hear it? Miss Jean, that's right. Miss Sherry Hartnett wrote a poem on time. Do you want to share it with Miss Jean? Yes, Miss Jean. Tell me if you like it or not, okay? Okay. Okay. Time. Starting today. Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow is on its way. Now, did that make sense to you? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I like it a lot. Yeah. Totally. Thank you very much. And you know, uh, I was saying when Miss Jean said that poem on time, I was like, hold on, somebody did a poem on time. I was like, I couldn't quite remember. Thank you so much, Miss Sharon, for bringing it back up. Thank you all. <laughs> And, and Kim, that gives me an idea for our book. We could we could categorize them, you know, like love, time, you know, that would be really nice. And then put the ones that are similar together on time. Yeah, that'd, that'd be good. Great. Yeah, that'd be good. Like I know. I'm not great. trying to edit, but I'm just suggesting. No, oh, that's great. That's great. That's what we all do things together as a family, you know. And it, and it's your book, so you would want to have it. You know, that's a real good uh, suggestion because some people do write, you know, like it could be love poems. Like you said, a lot of people write poems about love or some people be writing poems about pedals. <laughs> Mr. Renner ain't even catch that. <laughs> I said some people write poems about pedals. <laughs> you mute it. You mute it, young man. Okay, now I get it. <laughs> uh, I found a couple of poems, haikus, that I wrote about recent events. They're a little bit on the sad side. Or it's okay. That's part are. of life. That's part of life. Uh, I have to explain something. Oya is the Yoruba Arisha goddess of storms and rivers and water. Yes. So this one is called Oya. Oh yeah. Children of Oya wreak havoc on Boat Rock Road. Many trees were killed. That's good. Okay. Talking about the boat rock rotor in Atlanta. Yeah, it's oh. it's about a quarter mile. This from where I live. That's yeah, why I'm right from Fulton Industrial and Cascade. Yeah, I know boat rock. Yeah. Wow. Well, that I live right around the corner. Okay. Ah. Terrible. Were you affected by that too? No, our 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 apartment complex wasn't affected. A couple of sh uh, streets shingles blew off, but nothing serious. Okay. Well. Okay, and, and there's one more in, on the same subject, like uh, it's called Sawdust. Sawdust. Chainsaws holler through the trunks of tornado victims. Sawdust. Smells of pine. Good. 
Thank hey. you. Thank you much. I got one, but I can't smile. <laughs> that was really good, Cosmos. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I, may I read two more quick ones? Of course you can. Stink K. Wait, you muted yourself, Miss Jean. Okay, wisdom. No, you've muted yourself. I'm sorry. I was wondering why I couldn't hear you. Oops. Oh, okay. Now you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, this is on wisdom. Wisdom, God-given, whispers to your heart. Listen, obey. Okay. And this one's on aging. Aging. Years pass. Accept the changes. You earn the new you. Rejoice. That was good. <laughs> that was a very good one. I like that. Thank you. That was good. So, uh, uh, hold on one second, young people. Anybody got any other pieces they want to share? I'll find it. <laughs> Looking for something, Miss Sharon? Yes. I got a lot of Take stuff. Take your time. Here. Take your time. I go from one book to another. I don't Well, maybe somebody else has this. I don't know where to put that out. Okay. I, I had to take it. If you find it, just let us know. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to screen share. Uh, so I hope that you all really. And maybe some tuna. Okay, cool. How do you feel, baby? You have to mute yourself, Miss. Uh, I muted you, Miss Jean, because of the background noise. All right. So <laughs> you all have not have to. Sorry, you all should. Uh, you know, just try to at least write one of these poems just to give yourself a chance to see how good you are at it. I'm sure you're going to be wonderful. Don't allow it to overwhelm you. Just start off really slow and simple. And so we had the commentary last week on concrete and shape poems. So I'm just going to show another uh, quick video on that so that you all can feel comfortable. All right. All right, give me one second. Concrete or shape. So a concrete form is a form that's in a shape or is written to represent objects which they describe. The form can be written in the shape of the object. Artwork adds to the visual effect of this poem. So we're going to be taking a look at example one. So the first thing we notice is we see a triangle. So a concrete form always has some type of visual. In this case, it's a triangle. If inside of the shape, you will see representation describing that object. So in this particular poem, I see a triangle, so I should be seeing information about a triangle. So it says, a triangle reminds me of a mountain when we go skiing on Mount Bachelor. 
Example two, I notice the shape of a book. So when I'm reading this poem, I should see information about a book. I'm full of information. I like to be read, but don't tear me or fold my pages. Example three is a shape of an eye with eyelashes. So the eyes around us, bright, clear, shining orbs, eyes. Very useful for seeing. Blue, brown, green, I'm sorry, gray, green, hazel, black, pink, red. So this particular is a little bit different than the first two we saw. This one is using the image of an eye and they're using all the descriptive words, not an adjective, to make the shape of the eye. Example four. Here is another example like the first, the, the, the previous one we just saw. And again, this one has all adjectives in the shape of this little creature here. Example five. The moon inside of this particular one, this was taken from the internet from Image Chef. And this particular one has adjectives and telling a little story about the moon inside. Same thing. This person used, they traced the shape of a basketball, and then they just they, uh, kept repeating the word bounce, 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 bounce. These are just adjectives of basketball. <clears throat> In the middle, they put swish, swish, so that they could emphasize the two words that they wanted you to pay attention to. Example seven. What do you think this is? Hmm, if anybody knows my story, you know this is my favorite thing in the whole entire world. It's a cup of coffee. And again, they use the shape of a cup with the little steam coming off of it. And if you read it, they're telling a story about coffee. All right, so how do you begin? The first thing you're gonna wanna do is start with an image in your mind. I chose to do a heart. So this is the image that I'm going to be working with when I create my, my poem, my concrete poem. Okay, so first you're gonna to wanna to think of words that describe that object and you're gonna to wanna to write them down. This can be done as a rhyme where you are trying to create a poem, or you can just list some adjectives like we saw in our previous examples. So in my particular example, I wrote down heart. And as I was thinking about a heart, I wrote down all the things that a heart represents for me. So a heart to me is family, it's friendship, it's things I love to eat. It will be hot cheetos with cheese and an ice cold Coca-Cola. A heart to me is sitting with my best friend and laughing about life. Heart is basketball, heart is music, heart is singing. So all of those things are going to be what I'm going to use to create my country form. So, here's one way to create it. You're going to lightly trace an image and then fill with your adjectives or poem. So, you first lightly trace. I'm going to tear it and have a pencil, but I used a yellow, so you're not going to be able to see that. And then I'm going to start writing on my trace all the words from my brainstorm. And you're going to want to go around that shape and just keep going until you fill the whole shape. So again, I wrote love is a heart, love is family. Okay, let's take a look at another example. This is going to be drawing your shape and then filling your shape with all of the adjectives or your poem from the inside. So it would look like this. Instead of tracing the object, I decided to fill my image with the words or the adjectives that I brainstormed previously. Okay, so good luck, have fun, and I can't wait to read your Humpty Pumps. Bye bye.
Can you all still see the screen? The old masters had secretive image projecting devices to help them draw faster and better. So hundreds of years later, why don't we have better ways to help today's artists draw faster and better? Sure, you can painstakingly copy a photo. Earth, Earth, you are so cool. You are blue, green, and white. You must... Be very strong because you hold lots of people. Owl, owl, in the sky, I see you fly so high. Your wings are gray, your face is white. I can barely see you as you reach great heights. I wish to fly, but I think I'd die. It's just so high, I don't want to fly. <laughs> Oh my gosh, just you help store things while playing Minecraft. You store weapons to get rid of mobs so you can craft more items. Get the ball, dribble, 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 pass it, pass it, and get a goal. Baby gerbil, squeak, squeak, squeak. Get some sunflower seeds to eat, eat, eat. <laughs> and burrow in your bedding till it's soft, soft, soft. <laughs> that was cute. Oh my god, Chess, you help store things while playing in Minecraft. You store weapons to get rid of hogs so you can create more items. Summer shoes, flip, 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 flop. It doesn't stop to lie to you. They can be pretty, they can be cool and decorative too. I could go barefoot often. I like it when I step in mud and squish it with my own mental. I like to wear boots at my grandpa's farm and walk from down the big pointy road. But the problem is I lost one too, and I ruined the other when I stepped in mud. So. <laughs> Stars are bright, they shine a lot of light. The sun is a star that's not so far. Stars can be yellow, yellow is very not one. Stars can be green, just like a lima green. Stars can be blue, straight is like a moon. <laughs> forest boys will both lots of fluffy shit. Birds owl, birds owl, owl, lots of snake. Wolf, wolf, cocoon, cocoon, lots, lots of wind, they hear their bird, forest, forest. <laughs> Butterfly, butterfly, up in the sky, wandering around, I wonder why it's, it's so red and black. It has six legs and has glossy eyes. I, it wonders and wonders up in the sky. Now I have to go bye-bye. Rain, rain, you fall from the sky. It's like you you're coming to say hi. When the sun comes, you die. It looks like you can fly. When you fly, you say bye. Little girl, you say in your sleigh. Thank you so much. I've got a picture in a play. <laughs> turtle, turtle in the water. Turtle, turtle, big or small. Turtle, turtle. What a swallower, turtle, turtle, what a cute turtle. <laughs> I'm falling down, oh yes I am. I'm falling down, oh yes I am. I'm moving around city to city. I'm going around. I find it a lie. He opened me up and threw me like a bird. I don't know why he did the 
this but I'm very helpful if you even win but go on somewhere because I don't want to see you <laughs> Basketball, basketball is for paper ball, dance for, red for, sugar for, Did you get two or three points. Passion to me, passion to you. Getting selling, coming together, all have some cookie, I'll sell it. Oh, let's make one more. I love it, I love it. Maybe one more. Football, football, football. I throw it in this. All right, young people. Those were just some. Those were just some actual um, shape or concrete poems from fourth grade children, and you can just make them as simple as you can. Uh, just play with it a little bit and see what you come up with, and um, just have fun. So next week we will uh, see Wednesday. We will have class next Wednesday, even though that's the same day I'm going to have the sip and paint. So uh, class is from 1030 to 11, and then my sip and paint starts at 1. It'll be fine. So I'll see you all next week and possibly uh, share uh, at least one shape form. Just try it out. Anybody got any suggestions or questions? Any comments? Any more material to share for the day? I found my poem. I can hardly hear you though. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. You ready? Yes, ma'am. It doesn't have a name. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> my heart races with women. My heart races with time, just hoping you are mine. As the days and years go by, you stay in my heart with love and happiness like the flowers bloom during the summer sun. I'm overwhelmed when you are with me, just having fun. My heart blossoms with, with the unconditional things you do when you are around. That's which, that which makes me more sound. Oh, what a joy you become to me as one we could be bound. That's it. They came on rhyme. That's how I got came with that. Say that again. I said sort of round. I mean rhyme. No, it doesn't sort of rhyme. It rhymes really well. Okay, well, um, so what kind is that? <laughs> um, I don't know what style you pretty much wrote from it seemed like it could have it doesn't seem like a limerick because the rhyming uh style is it wasn't uh within the format per se but it could just be a freestyle a free, okay let's say a freestyle form i believe that's what it is just freestyle <laughs> that's how i feel just free <laughs> yep that's good it's really really good so freestyle is just writing from your heart and just going forward with no particular uh, uh, like format, you know, that you had to adhere to. You just wrote in from beginning to end as far as conveying what you wanted to get out. That's really, really good. Thank you. Thank you. So you can come up in, in the content of the poem. It doesn't have to come out of the poem as it pertains to the words, but you have some really good pointers in your poem that will give you a good title. And it could be, you could also say, this poem is by Sharon Hartnett, and it's untitled. You know, you can continue to say that for the rest of your life. It's no problem. <laughs> because the, the okay. message will just get across what you, you know, you plan to get out there. So that's really good. Thank Thanks you. for sharing. Thanks for sharing, Sharon. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Mo. <laughs> yes, auntie. <laughs>
Anybody else? Thank y'all so much, Mr. Ronnie and Miss Jean. Uh, please, if you know anyone who is a, a good lyricist or loves to write and that type of thing, tell them about our class or somebody that you think that might possibly enjoy, just tell them about our class so that they can join and we can uh, share in the gift of or receive the gift of their uh, thoughts and what's coming out of their heart and life as well. Thank you so much, young people, for joining, making something out of nothing. My name is Kimberly Wright. Don't forget about the coloring book event tomorrow and the tea on Friday. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Word up. Word up. Word up. The class all about short stories, spoken word, and poetry. Thank you. <laughs> Peace, everybody. Thank y'all so much. Mwah. You had something to say, Miss Jean? I said, peace out. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Peace out. <laughs> and peace within. <laughs> oh, goodness. You was about to say something, Mr. Run? Okay. <laughs> Have a wonderful and blessed and safe day, everybody. <laughs> you too. Okay.